Thank you so much, Police Band. Distinguished guest faculty members, parents, and graduating class of 2021-2022. Ladies and gentlemen, you are once again welcome to the 31st congregation of GCTU. Uh, Police Band, please lead us again in a national anthem. Thank you so much, Ghana Police Band. Can we now invite uh, Reverend Michael Owusu Tabiri to lead us in an opening prayer? Reverend. Thank you. This is the day the Lord God Almighty has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad in it. Shall we pray? Ever gracious Father, we are grateful unto you for the gift of life. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. For your grace and mercy, we say thank you. For your loving kindness, we say thank you. For your big heartedness towards us, we say thank you. For your grace and mercy that endure forever. Our Father and our God, we say glory, honor, and adoration be unto your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for counting us all worthy to be part of 31st congregation ceremony at the Ghana Communication Technology University. We thank you for all our graduates for today. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for preserving their lives, for protecting them, for redeeming them from every foul spirit, and helping them to sail through all the academic programs. And here they are to be awarded with their degrees. Glory, honor, and adoration be unto your holy name. Spirit of Christ Jesus, have your own way. Let today's congregation ceremony be glorious and life transforming. So shall it be in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Please, you may be seated. Thank you so much. Yeah, and thanks, Reverend, for the opening prayer. I now invite the registrar, Mr. Emmanuel Bedu, to deliver the welcome address and declare the purpose of this assembly. Thank you. Thank you, Director of University Relations. Good morning, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, and a warm welcome to the 31st Congregation of the Ghana Communication Technology University. We have gathered here this morning to confer degrees on students who completed their courses of study in the 2021-2022 academic year. It is heartwarming to see graduates here in their numbers to participate in this ceremony. It is my singular honor to invite the Chairman of Council Professor Kofi Eusabu Asare, who is presiding over this morning's congregation event, to make his welcome statement and constitute the assembly for this morning's business. Thank you very much. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Are you here? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. As being said, we are here for a congregation ceremony. GCTU Council members present, our special guest speaker, Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama, who is the MMD of Electricity Co Company of Ghana, the Vice Chancellor, the Pro Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, representatives of vice chancellors of our 
collaborators, particular Coventry University, where we have Professor Selas Stanlus Lua Kamba with us, representative of the Vice Chancellor of KNUST, Professor John Tia Bugri, deans and directors, members of convocation, all GCTU staff present, SRC and GRASAC presidents, family members and friends of graduates. And I think it's equally good for you as for the graduates. Friends from the press, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you all to the 31st congregation of GCTU. Now I want you to think about it. Up to 2020, it was GTUC. Now it's GCTU. It's your coming in for at GCT, uh, GTUC to GCTU change you in any way. And we are here to celebrate that. So it's one of the rituals of a university as it offers the opportunity to showcase what has been done and what our awards and students have been able to achieve. Because it's part of our responsibility towards our stakeholders, who are the students, parents, the community around us, and the country as well as the whole world, because then you will get our students everywhere. The management of the university remains committed to improving upon graduation rates and student satisfaction because you must be satisfied to come here to do your program and to stay in for your congregation and to undertake to continue to do whatever is in our power to students to have a memorable student experience. To us, if it's when you have a, rem uh, a memorable experience that you are prepared to come back. And today's ceremony is to present to the world our undergraduate and graduate students who have satisfied the requirements for the award of a diploma or degree. Not many years ago, you were chosen from among your schoolmates and admitted to this prestigious university. You had your reasons, and I guess your reasons may be still valid, for choosing this institution. And it is our hope that your expectations for choosing this institution have been fulfilled. The postgraduate students must have deliberately chosen Ghana Communication Technology University for further studies because of the special programs offered by this university. I urge all of you to consider this ceremony as marking a period of rite of passage. And that is in another stage of your life. You are now moving from a period where you were students to a period where you are taking responsibility as workers. Some of you may have been parents before you came in, particularly the graduate students. Now you, I hope, with your expectation, you have a new perspective, even as parents. Management and staff of GCTU fraternity share in your joy of successful completion for your program of study, and we are very proud of you. But we also charge you to be on a journey of long life education. This should not be the end. It's very important that we begin to learn further because this will be the seed and that's part of your right to passage. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to declare this morning's assembly duly constituted for the award of degrees to successful graduates. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Chairman of Council. Ladies and gentlemen, it is customary for the Vice Chancellor to give a report at congregation 
on developments in the university over the last academic year. I now respectfully call on the Vice Chancellor, Professor Emmanuel Ohine Afuakwa, to present his report. Thank you. The Chairman of GCTU Governing Council, Professor Kofi Ausabo Asari, members of the Council present, our distinguished guests of honor, Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama, Managing Director of the Electricity Company of Ghana, the Pro Vice Chancellor, GCTU, Professor Robert Ibohensen, the Registrar GCTU, Mr. Emmanuel Beidou, our esteemed international and local partners present, Professor Silas Luakabamba, representing Coventry University, UK, Professor Tia, representing KNUST, Professor Sam Ziva, representing CAS Europe, Professor Cornelia Scott, representing Anhalt University of Applied Sciences. Members of convocation, members of staff, students, graduates, friends, and family of graduates, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I want to extend a warm welcome to you all to this 31st congregation of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Today, we gather here to celebrate not only the achievements of our graduates, but also the remarkable progress and transformation of the Ghana Communication Technology University. That is our beloved institution. Moments like this are highly cherished, and I would like to express my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you for being present at this ceremony. This 31st congregation in marks the 31st congregation since the inception of the entire university, but then it is the third graduation ceremony since the Ghana Communication Technology University was born from August 2020 after the assentment to the bill, Ghana Communication Technology Bill, that was passed by Parliament to become the Ghana Communication Technology Act 2020, Act 1022, and was assented to by the President of the Republic of Ghana on August 13th, 2020. That granted this university a fully fledged public university status with a mandate to specialize in the training of students in the field of technology and engineering. This development marked a significant turning in the university journey, opening many doors and opportunities for both our faculty and students. GCTU has played a significant role in shaping the landscape of education in Ghana. Over the past years, through the unwavering dedication and hard work of our faculty and staff, GCTU has reached new heights of excellence. Today, we proudly celebrate the graduation of our 31st batch of graduates, which is evidence of the progress and growth of our university since the times when it was established as a Ghana Telecommunication Training Center. Each batch of graduates representing a step in the development of our institution, and we are honored to have played a very important part 
in shaping the future of these remarkable individuals, many of whom have become very important personalities and performing important roles in this country. Our vision as an institution. Central to our vision is the creation of a technology hub within GCTU akin to the prestigious Silicon Valley in America. We envision a place where innovation and development will thrive, and we are witnessing this vision come to life before our very eyes. Our faculty is being strengthened and equipped with state-of-the-art tools, including cutting-edge laboratories, research centers, and libraries to provide our students with the best possible training. Despite the limitation of land space on our campus, we are determined to make judicious use of the available land by erecting high-rise buildings that will provide office, accommodation, lecture rooms, hostel accommodation facilities for our students, and working environment for our staff. The transformation of our campus stands at top priority, and recently established gatehouse is a symbolic establishment that has given a new face and symbol to this great university. That is the future of the National ICT Center of Excellence in this institution. GCTU is also a pioneer in transnational education in Ghana, fostering partnerships with world-class universities such as Coventry University in the UK, Anhalt University in Germany, Cass University in France, Ramaya University in India, among many others. These partnerships have yielded tremendous results as evidenced by the success story of our alumni from these programs. We recently hosted our, an alumni meet and greet event by an Anhalt University group where the heartfelt testimonies shared by our alum alumni showcased the impact and benefits of these collaborations that we've had in this university over the past decade. I encourage our graduates to embrace such partnerships and leverage the global exposure offered by these programs, enhancing their marketability in the job market and broadening their horizon right here within GCTU. At GCTU, student experience is not merely a slogan, but a tangible project with a life and soul. In my address to staff early this year at the inaugural staff Deva, I declared 2023 a year of student experience, and we have diligently strived to live up to this proclamation. Our students can attest to the fact that Various initiatives have been put in place to make their lives on campus very enjoyable and enriching. Lecture rooms on the main campuses and the business school have recently been equipped with state-of-the-art teaching and learning aid. We have recently installed projectors, new projectors and lecterns using and making the, our lecture rooms very interactive and engaging learning experience for our students. Moreover, New air conditioners have been fitted to improve ventilation and provide comfort in this space. Within the span of the past two months, we have fixed over 50 air conditioners in lecture rooms at Abeka campus and on the main campus here, just to ensure that we create the enabling environment for learning and teaching for our students and staff. We've also taken delivery of over 550 tables and chairs to provide comfort for students in our lecture rooms. And currently, we have ordered an additional 800 tables and chairs, which will be delivered in the next two weeks by Kingdom Books. And all these attest to the fact that we put our student experience proclamation very seriously. Currently, we have a sports complex that is under construction. And this is a vivid example of our commitment to fostering 
fiscal well-being and offering recreational opportunities for our students. Additionally, we have inaugurated the school infirmary. So we have a new infirmary that is a full-born clinic for the university, providing all around the clock health services to cater for the well-being of our students as well. Again, progress is well ahead in the procurement of the construction of the first eight-story lecture hall and offices complex right at the right side of the gate when you enter. And also, the first eight-story student accommodation that will also be constructed right behind me on the left side here. And then later, another two eight-story structures that will accommodate over 3,400 students right here on this campus. And I'm happy to say that procurement processes for all these structures are beginning long ago, and we are well underway, and we hope that before this, at the end of this year, all these eight-story structures will begin construction. These are testament to our commitment to creating an excellent teaching, learning, and research environment for both our staff and our students in this university. Our statistics. The Ghana Communication Technology University currently has a total enrollment of 6,540 students. For this graduating class of 2022-2023 academic year, for all levels, GCTU is awarding degrees to a total of 1,147 students. This includes seven PhDs, as you see, they are beautifully in front here, worked hard to merit the PhD degrees this morning. And we have 103 master's degree uh, graduates with us from Coventry University, UK, and Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany. And then Cairn UST as well. And then we have 1,037 undergraduate degrees and diploma graduates also with us. Our affiliate universities whose graduates are also part of our academic landscape include Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, as you know, under, uh, before we became a fully fledged university, we were under affiliation with Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. So that was our parent university, and they still continue to be our mother university, even though now we, we are fully fledged university, we are fully grown university, we will still need to be tutored and mentored. So we are grateful to Kwame Nkrumah University for the continuing support that they provide to us as a young university that is just about three years. And then we also have Coventry University UK and Cars University in France. Collectively, the affiliate universities have a total of 668 graduates. Among these graduates, there are 110 postgraduate students and 558 undergraduate students. These statistics contribute to the overall academic state of affairs within the university and its partner institutions. Our partnerships. Our strides in industrial and educational partnerships have been remarkable in recent years. We have signed numerous memoranda of understanding with highly respected organizations, providing our students with invaluable opportunities for internships, national service placements, and future employment opportunities. These partnerships help to bridge the gap between industry and academia, equipping our students with practical skills and experiences that enhance their professional growth and employability. Just this week, we signed a new agreement with the University of KwaZulu-Natal, and I'm happy to say that over 30 of our faculty who hitherto are lecturing with their PhDs have been enrolled onto different PhD programs with the University of KwaZulu-Natal, where they are expected to pursue their PhD degrees and complete within three years. And we have quite a number of our junior staff who we have also enrolled at the master's level 
And I believe that, I mean, no university will give you this opportunity. But we are giving our staff huge opportunities. And we have enrolled quite a number of them onto other programs with other universities, like Jiangsu University in China, Brent University in France, and other universities abroad, which means that we, we take our staff and students very seriously. We want to ensure that they are given the right teaching, the right skills and abilities and capabilities to be able to do the work that is be before them as academic staff of this university and administrators of the university. Our graduates, I extend my heartfelt congratulations on this significant achievement. You have demonstrated resilience, dedication, and the pursuit of knowledge throughout your academic journey. As you step into the world, beyond these walls, I wish you the very best in your future endeavors. Remember, your time at GCTU has equipped you with the skills and knowledge needed to thrive in a rapidly changing world. Embrace every opportunity that comes your way and let your light shine brightly wherever you go. We are very confident that you are going to make us proud outside there as you graduate from this great institution because we have great testimonies our, that our alumni are doing marvelous and performing wonders in their workplace in Ghana. And therefore, you go out there to join them to make this institution proud by contributing your quota to the growth and development of our great nation. I would like to express our deepest uh, gratitude to the parents and guardians who have supported you, graduates, and encouraged our graduates throughout their educational journey. Your unwavering love, guidance, and sacrifices have played an instrumental role in their sources, and we are immensely grateful for your support. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, let us celebrate the achievement of our graduates, the progress of GCTU, and the promising future that lies ahead of us. Together, we will continue to drive innovation, excellence, and transformation in tertiary education through cutting edge technology, making a positive impact not only in Ghana, but also on the world stage. Thank you very much, and welcome to the Ghana Communication Technology Investing Institute. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Yes, you can make it better than that, please. A round of applause for our VC. Thank you so much, VC for that elaborate congregation address. Please, once again, this congregation is streaming live on Facebook, Ghana Communication Technology University, GCTU website, gctu.edu.gh. Please share all this with your friends and loved ones so they can join you. They can join you, yes. We are also streaming live on YouTube, GCTU. Yeah. So now let us take a moment to enjoy an enchanting musical interlude by the University Choir. If you didn't know that the name has changed, they are now the Royal Voices, which was christened by the Vice Chancellor himself, the life patron of the... Please, Royal Voices, take it up. Thank you.
thank you so much. Please. <laughs> thank you so much, Royal Voices. Yes, once again, uh, we are streaming live on Facebook, Ghana Communication Technology University, GCTU website. That's gctu.edu.gh. And we are also streaming live on YouTube. Kindly share the link with your friends and loved ones so they will not be left out. Yes, yeah, so next is goodwill messages from our partners. I hereby invite the registrar, Mr. Emmanuel Bedu, to continue with proceedings. Please let's welcome him with an applause. Thank you very much, Director of University Relations. It is now time to receive goodwill messages from our partner institutions. Prof. Chairman, with your permission, May I invite partners from the Ghana Communication Technology University to present their goodwill messages. I will kindly invite Professor Robert Ebu Hinson, Pro Vice Chancellor, to read the goodwill message on behalf of CAS European Institute of Management Studies. Thank you. Good morning. I stand on the existing protocol to deliver a good message to CAS Europe PhD graduates at this 31st congregation ceremony on behalf of Professor Sam Zeva, President of CAS Europe Paris, France. Dear CAS Europe PhD graduate, greetings. On behalf of the Chair of our Board of Governors, the Academic Council, and the entire CAS Europe community, I extend to you my warm greetings and congratulations on this 31st convocation of GCTU. You have worked very hard all these years, and this congregation represents a concrete demonstration of your success. We are all very proud of you and your achievements. I would like to express my profound gratitude to the management team, faculty, and staff of GCTU for their continued support. A special word of thanks to the Vice Chancellor of GCTU, Professor Immanuel Hini Afuakwa, Professor Ebenezer Malcolm, the Dean of the Graduate School, and Dr. Esther Siedu, Chair of the CAS Europe PhD Program for their unwavering engagement in and support of the program all these years. Dear graduates, rest assured that GCTU and CAS Europe will continue to work closely together to further strengthen the quality of the standard of our PhD program so that those coming after you can equally derive similar benefits. I wish you plenty of success in your future endeavors and ask that you keep actively engaged with the University and CAS Europe through our common alumni association network. I thank you for your attention and I wish you God's blessings. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, Pro Vice Chancellor. It is the turn of Coventry University, United Kingdom. I shall invite Professor Silas Stanslos Luakabamba, who is representing the Pro Chancellor of Coventry University, to read the goodwill message from Coventry University. Thank you. The Chairman of the Council, members of the Council, the Vice Chancellor, the Registrar, esteemed faculty members, distinguished guests, and most importantly, the bright and talented graduates of Ghana Communication Technology University. Good morning. 
It is with great pleasure, it was great honor and pleasure that I stand before you today on behalf of Coventry University to deliver a brief goodwill message at this 31st congregation ceremony. First and foremost, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to Ghana Communication Technology University for inviting us to be part of this joyous occasion. The partnership between our two institutions signifies a shared commitment to excellence in technology, management, and finance programs at postgraduate level. This collaboration has fostered an exchange of knowledge and ideas that have positively impacted the academic journey of students and faculty from both universities. Specifically, we recognize the field of ICT is at the forefront of shaping our rapidly evolving world, Africa in particular, and it is uh, heartening to witness how this partnership has contributed to Ghana's transformation in this area. By combining the unique strength and expertise of Coventry University and the Ghana Communication Technology University, we have been able to create a powerful synergy that enhances the quality of technology, management, and finance education in Ghana. Through our transnational education arrangement, our collaborative delivery of cutting edge courses and innovative solutions in various fields that address real world uh, challenges faced by Ghana and beyond bear fruit today. The shaping for the country's communication infrastructure and driving digital entrepreneurship to fostering a growing financial sector, all of which are contributing significantly to Ghana's social economic growth. To the graduating students, today marks the culmination of years of hard work, dedication, and determination. You have proven yourselves to be the best and the brightest and as you step into the world beyond the lecture rooms, you carry with you knowledge and skills that will shape the future of Ghana and the world. Embrace this moment as a stepping stone towards a future filled with boundless opportunities. What you have learned here will continue to evolve, and your role as graduates from Ghana Communication Technology University positions you at the forefront of the trans transformation. Let your passion for innovation drive, drive you to and, mem and remember that challenges you have encountered are simply, are simply bridges to success. As you embark on your respective journeys, always be open to learning and unlearning, for in a world where technology evolves at a lightning speed, Adaptability is a key to staying relevant. Embrace change, for it is through change that progress and breakthroughs are made. Never underestimate the power of collaboration. Just as our institutions have come together to create a meaningful impact, remember that great achievements are seldom accomplished alone. Seek our partnerships, uh, seek out partnerships and build strong networks that amplify your efforts, enable you to make a difference that extends beyond individual capabilities. Above all, as you shape your careers and contribute to the transformation of Ghana, let your work be guided by ethics, integrity, and sense of responsibility towards society. The power of your enhanced capabilities can be harnessed by tremendous good and, if you, and uh, as future leaders, you have a significant role to play in what, uh, in what you, have learned, you have learned to create a major, just, equitable, and a sustainable world. Congratulations once again on this moment, your achievement, and may your future be filled with success, fulfillment, and positive impact on the world. As we move forward, Remember that Ghana Communication Technology University and Coventry University 
stand behind you, cheering you for your success every step of the way. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, Professor Luakabamba. Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany, sent a recorded message which will be played. Thank you. Hello, welcome, willkommen, Akwaba. I am very proud to congratulate our graduates from the Hochschule Anhalt, Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany, on this very special occasion where we are able to celebrate our graduates from the MBA International Trade Program. This is always a very special moment and I would love to be with you to celebrate this. However, unfortunately, um, this is not possible today but I am sure we will find many moments in the future to celebrate your great achievements. It's my pleasure, not only in my name as your MBA program director for international trade, but also for the university and in the name of our president, uh, Professor Bagdan, and also our dean, Andreas Donner, who also extend their warmest congratulations and, um, and gratitude to also the faculty of the GCTU in giving all the support. And at this moment, I would like to congratulate our graduates of this year. Um, in the order, please, there is no special order here. You are all very, very special candidates, and we are very proud to have you amongst our graduates. Good morning once again. Chairman of Council, members of the Governing Council present, management and staff of Ghana Communication Technology University, distinguished invited guests, graduates, members of the media, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you warm greetings from the Vice Chancellor, management and staff of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, KNUST, Kumasi. Special greetings from Professor Mrs. Rita Akwesiwa Dixon, the Vice Chancellor of KNUST, who would have loved to be present at this important ceremony, but could not attend due to other exigencies of her schedule. She, however, extends her best regards to the Governing Council management, staff, our cherished graduates, and wishes you all a very successful graduation ceremony. I am very honored and delighted to represent the Vice Chancellor on this occasion to confer degrees on deserving students and also deliver this goodwill message to our cherished graduates of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Chairman of Council, I wish to state that KNUST is very happy to be part of the success achieved by GCTU thus far, including becoming a full-fledged public university in Ghana. The act which established GCTU mandates the university to provide state-of-the-art technology-oriented and industry-relevant programs in information communication technology and related areas to aid in the development of students and this nation at large. Indeed, during our marriage, we were very, very much involved in the process of mentoring, as was alluded to by the Vice Chancellor and council chair. But I must note this before it's too late. In the global ecosystem, if you have been following the rankings of the Times Higher Education of the US, KNUST 
has been ranked number one globally. And you heard me right. Globally. Hello? For quality Hello? education, quality education in relation to SDG goal number four. And the ecosystem is so much crowded with big names. The MITs, the Stanfords, the Harvards, the Cambridge, and the Oxfords. But we did it because we have been focused in doing whatever it takes to reach our destination, which is quality education delivery. And that is what we left with GCTU, which has also propelled you to become a chartered university. We all share in the glory. Thank you. We pledge our unflinching and continued support in this regard, in any other ways possible, to aid your advancement with respect to your mandates. And indeed, we really look forward to the day when GCTU is going to be the Silicon Valley of Ghana and even Africa. And I believe we will live to see that day. I urge GCTU to continuously foster innovation in digital technology solutions and inculcate same in students' problem-solving skills, design thinking, and creativity, and hands-on learning experiences to provide the needed manpower to Ghana's development. We know and believe that the growth and success of tertiary education in Ghana has been largely dependent on and capable tertiary institutions, including GCTU. We cannot fail to recognize your enormous contribution to the development of high-level human resources for the information, communication, and technology sector of our country, Ayiko. And to my dear graduates, I want you to consider the many hours of hard work you have put in, the changes and challenges you have to go through just to be where you are today, and all the great people you have come into contact with to become proficient in your chosen career. I believe that with the skills and training you have acquired from this noble institution, you are well equipped to help our dear country by providing the necessary solutions and interventions when called upon. In this regard, please remember this. It is not the strongest that survives, as Charles Darwin put it. It is the one who is more resilient and adaptable to change. We have to keep that in focus. I urge you all to live here today with your hands held up high, feeling accomplished and proud of yourselves for what you have achieved during your time at Ghana Communication Technology University. Let your positive impact be felt in your field of work. And together with other well-meaning Ghanaians, let us all move Ghana to an enviable position we can all be proud of. Indeed, knowledge actually comes from learning. But wisdom comes from listening to the voice of God and deploring that knowledge for the betterment of society. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Congratulations. God bless you. God bless GCTU. Amen. Thank you very much, Professor John T. Abugri. We are sorry for the technical hitch experienced earlier on. We shall now play the goodwill message from Anhalt University of Science and Technology, Germany. Hello, welcome, willkommen, Akwaba. I am very proud to congratulate our graduates from the Hochschule Anhalt, Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany, on this very special occasion where we are able to celebrate our graduates from the MBA International Trade Program. This is always a very special moment and I would love 
to be with you to celebrate this. However, unfortunately, um, this is not possible today, but I am sure we will find many moments in the future to celebrate your great achievements. It's my pleasure, not only in my name as your MBA Programme Director for International Trade, but also for the University and in the name of our President, uh, Professor Bagdan, and also our Dean, Andreas Donner, who also extend their warmest congratulations and, um, and gratitude to also the faculty of the GCTU in giving all the support. And at this moment, I would like to congratulate our graduates of this year. Um, in the order, please, there is no special order here. You are all very, very special candidates, and we are very proud to have you amongst our graduates. Starting with um, the gentleman, and I believe the only gentleman we have here in this group, Christopher Siao Darkwool, Irene Ari, uh, Mentuma Phyllis Dopke, Linda, Nana Anna Aqua, Judith Bani, Mercy Yaboa, Yara Sivuta Diki. I am sorry for the pronunciation, I tried my best. <laughs> but all of you, congratulations then. Um, not only did you have the challenges of struggling your family, also your work and also studies and grueling deadlines and challenges there. But we also had the challenge of Corona and, um, and the online education processes. And thus, I think you can be extremely proud of yourself for not only being able to get through the MBA, but also with the challenges of Corona, uh, which did not deter you from completing your MBA international trade, which as I said, fills us all with great pride. Be proud of yourself, but also be proud of your families and your friends who gave you that encouragement um, and supported you throughout. If I may say as well then in this short message, be proud of your achievements. However, do remain humble and also respectful to all around you. And perhaps if we can make it our mission every day to do something good and to strive to make this world a better place, then I think we can all be proud of ourselves. So thank you very much, dear students, dear graduates then. And please always remember that you always have not only the home of the GCTU, but also the University of Applied Sciences, Anhalt. And we are one big family hoping and helping the world become a better place. Thank you very much. Wishing you a wonderful ceremony and in my heart I am with you. God bless, take care, and I hope to see lots of photos with happy faces, happy families, and to all of you, a great day, great evening, and till very soon, hopefully back in Ghana. Thank you, bye-bye. Tschüss, bye-bye. Yes, yeah, so that was a message from Anhalt University. Yeah, so GCT, of course, we are indeed the hub of transnational education. And so that was one of our partners, so, and from our local and then also uh, international partners as well. Next on our program is a musical interlude by the police band. Please let's sit and enjoy a musical interlude. Police band, please.
Thank you so much, Ghana Police Band, for that uh, nice tune. At this juncture, I would invite Mr. Emmanuel Bedu, my boss, the registrar, to continue proceedings. Thank you very much, Director of Human, Director of University Relations. It is now time for the keynote address. Ladies and gentlemen, our special guest of honor to deliver the keynote address for this morning's ceremony is Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama. Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama is an accomplished and visionary leader with an extensive background in legal and energy industries with over 20 years of work experience. He has consistently demonstrated his ability to drive growth, innovation, and operational excellence in any role he finds himself in. He's a partner at Dubik and Associates Law Firm and has over a decade's experience in, servicing, in serving in executive roles in both the private and public sectors. During his tenure in the public sector, he worked with the Ghana Investment Promotion Center, GIPC, whose sole aim is to promote foreign direct investment in Ghana. Mr. Dubik served as the head of monitoring and evaluation unit at GIPC. His drive for success was also evident in private business pursuits where he worked with energy companies such as USA's Bridgewell Resources LLC, based in Portland, Oregon, Gulf South Forest Products, based in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and El Swede Electricals, based in Cairo, Egypt, for a decade now. Mr. Mama also has vast experience in consulting for local energy, mining, and engineering firms, assisting them in identifying viable projects with the necessary funding for 10 key solutions. He also serves on the board for, of a few companies, including Wilkins and Engineering Limited, Demontage Company Limited, and Ghana Industrial Holding Company, GIHOK. In May 2022, Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama was appointed as the Managing Director of Electricity Company of Ghana Limited, ECG. Adept at stakeholder management, he has fostered among fosters strong relationships with government entities, regulators, shareholders, customers, and employees. With strong communication skills, Mr. Mahama has effectively represented the company's interest and maintained productive partnerships, contributing to the company's remarkable financial performance. With the support of his board and management, the company has successfully managed budgets, optimized operational efficiency, and implemented strategies and bold initiatives such as a cashless system, overhauled ECG's mobile app, and driven extensive revenue mobilization exercises, among others. In April 2023, ECG recorded an over 250% increase in its revenue collection. Through his leadership, ECG has rolled out revenue assurance project which implements a single payment platform for revenue collection and improved efficiency of billing customers. The outage meter measurement system, which leverages digital media to monitor low voltage faults, receive customer complaints electronically and assign them to fault teams. The same system monitors the repairs and provides feedback to customers. Mr. Mahama has also effectively led negotiations between ECG and AXA Energy to install a power generating plant in the Ashanti region by the end of 2024 at no cost to the government of Ghana. This agreement proves that PPP projects in Ghana can be both affordable and of high value. Under the leadership of Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama, ECG is poised to continue its upward trajectory, meeting challenges of the evolving energy landscape and delivering reliable, sustainable, and innovative solutions to improve the quality of lives and livelihoods to customers. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama to deliver his address. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. Members of Council, Vice Chancellor GCTU, Pro Vice Chancellor GCTU, 
Registrar GCTU, Vice Chancellor Coventry University, President Cass, Europe Institute of Management Studies, President Anhalt, University of Applied Sciences, the Vice Chancellor KNUST, Vice Chancellor UPSA, members of the GCTU convocation, all administrative senior members, faculty deans and directors, staff and students, and the graduating classes. Good morning to you all. And not to forget my favorite friends in the media. I was given the task to give the keynote speech on empowering the future, the role of ICT in sustainable development. But <clears throat> all protocols observed, I, permit me to go a little rogue and I'll come back to. I can hear noises. I can hear people happy. I can hear children crying. But the truth is, nobody can tell you the other side of what you are going to experience when you get out of these walls. Some of you think the certificates or the education is a key to success. There's a bigger job outside these doors for you. The job is where you want to see yourself, how you want to see yourself, and what you want to do. It's very exciting to be part of such a ceremony because when you're giving something to speak about, your main focus is always on, on that. But ICT, just a few minutes ago, we just realized that it could fail us. Not so. We had a speech that was supposed to have been played. What happened? So we should all bear in mind that you can always have a game plan until someone hits you in the nose. Then you know that what? You have to readjust. In graduating, we cannot equip you with everything. We can equip you with some. Not equipping you with everything sometimes to... It's a plan so that you don't become better than us. Because we need to keep you where you are for some time before you can become like us. ICT in this modern world, you cannot do without it. The power of data alone can turn around a company in less than a year. And ECG has demonstrated that. I am not going to go ahead and bore you with conversations because I struggled with my speech, the very first one, the second one, and I want this graduation to be about your classes, you the individual, and not me, or what ECG has done, or what the country seeks to do. The country is on a vigorous adventure of what? Digitization. And that's where you all come in. You are in a unique place because where you have studied gives you a unique background to assist in this process. Using ICT alone can close certain gaps that you had no idea could. For example, ICT has allowed ECG to be able to tag customers to the extent that we've discovered about 100,000 new customers, which is showing that in losses alone, 100,000 is equating to almost 30 million Ghana cities. So, in driving growth, in driving sustainability in a country, you can never do without what? ICT. It's the bedrock of every nation now because it provides you, with the click of a button, the easiest way to compare and contrast what you have been doing over the years with what you are doing now. I was described as a visionary leader just a few minutes ago. It was amazing to hear it because do I see myself as one? I just think it's because of ICT. That's the only difference. You are being called visionary because of what? ICT. So imagine the tool you have in your hands. You have the single tool that can change every single thing that we've been trying to do for how many years now? 
you are graduating into a world that is yearning for that kind of change. So you can provide it. The saddest thing is to be graduating thinking that you are looking for employment. Think about how you can rather employ others. It is not that difficult because with ICT, that gap can be closed and the gap can be closed faster than you think. Because what you'll be able to provide and your reach would be remarkable. There are a few things that, in as much as you'd want to apply ICT, as an individual, you need to take time to take, to look at in your growth pattern. Time. As you live here, time is your worst enemy and could also be your best friend. How you manage your time, what you use it for, and the expected results from those time is what will make the difference between you and the other person next to you. Learn to work together because working together can close a lot of gaps that you have no idea existed. And as much as ICT has a good side, it also has a bad side because morally, people can use it for all the wrong things that it could possibly do. Please, we are under a moral obligation both ways. Let me use this moral obligation to, pay, to beg you to pay your electricity bills <laughs> because the company needs its money. Dial star 226 hash. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you get the platform, you use it for yourself so that you can better your company. Not so. So, you've had a lot of speeches. I didn't want my keynote speech to drag for it to lose its essence. Before I take my seat, there are two things I want to share with you. No, in fact, it should be three because I just said the first one. Pay your bills. The second one is this. It is very, very easy to see your past as your destiny. It is very, very easy to see your past as your destiny and get used to it. And also see that based on that, your future is also what? Predetermined. But to be very honest with you, there's something called free will. You control your story from today to the end. See your future as what? Free will. And leave the past to take care of itself. Because as you leave this place, you have been equipped with certain things that a lot of people do not have. That piece of paper can open doors for you. It can create opportunities for you. In the same way, it can destroy you. Please use it to the best of your ability. Assist others. And make sure that in your role in society, you give off your best. The other side, I would leave you with a small story. Growing up, we all were in households where we were taught when to sleep, when to wake up, when to get ready to go to school with authoritarian figures in our lives. Isn't that so? We went to boarding school. We were taught when to go to prep, when to study, when to go to class. Isn't that so? Then we left and we came to university. And guess what? Here we were in control of our lives. So we decided to test all the rules. We broke all the rules that we were taught, but we were never punished. So our biggest mistake is to go into the world thinking that there are no repercussions for breaking those rules. You are under a moral obligation to do what is right. Keep doing what is right. Keep thinking positive and note that every single thing you are looking for, you will find when you do the right thing. In concluding, I want to give you guys a round of applause. I'd like for you all to give yourselves a big round of applause. The fact that you're all graduating is a massive achievement that many in this country may never have the opportunity to experience. Never take this for granted and always bear in mind that 
you are immensely privileged to actually graduate through your hard work. Don't forget the support and efforts of your families, your friends, your lecturers, your classmates, and, what, and whoever aided you to get to this point. I'd like to thank the Vice Chancellor, and I'll say to you all, remember to give back to your university when you find yourself in a position to do so. You will have a legacy to leave, and I'm always excited to see what the future holds for all of you here. Please do your best. Keep doing your best. God bless us all, and have a great day. Enjoy your parties. Yes, please, you can do it better for him. Thank you so much, Mr. Samuel Dubik Mahama, Managing Director, Electricity Company of Ghana. Please remember to dial hash, star 226 hash to pay your bills. Yes, thank you so much. Yes, once again, you are being reminded that this uh, congregation is being streamed live on our Facebook Ghana Communication Technology University on our website, gctu.edu.gh, on YouTube, GCTU. Please share with your friends and family. Yes, so we will take a breather here and enjoy some music from the Ghana Police Band. Pleasure to our graduates and welcome to GCTU. Welcome to Ghana Communication Technology University, our 31st congregation, and you are all warmly welcome to witness this great event where we will be graduating PAD, Masters, Bachelors, and Diploma degree programs. You are welcome to GCTU. Stay tuned to our YouTube channels, our Facebook channels, and all our social media handles, and you can witness live the event and the thrilling innovations and hard-working graduates who will be taking home their certificates today. Congratulations to our graduates and welcome to GCTU. Thank you so much, Ghana Police Band, once again for that melodious performance. Next on our program is the presentation of academic awards. At this juncture, once again, I'll invite the registrar to continue. Thank you very much, Director of University Relations. And I also want to express our sincere appreciation to Mr. Samodibik Mahama for his very inspiring speech. I'm sure that our graduates have taken away a lot that will extremely be useful as they move on to the next phase of their lives. It is now time for the presentation of academic awards. Prof. Chairman, with your permission, May I invite the Pro Vice Chancellor of Ghana Communication Technology University to present the special awards and academic prizes? Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Registrar. I want to stand on existing protocol again to dispatch this portion of the program with some alacrity. So the first prize is for MSc in Business Decision Management, and the recipient is Richard Junior Roxon. Please clap for Richard Junior Roxon. 
And the presenter is Professor George Opongampong, the Dean of the GCTU Business School, Richard Jr. Roxon. Richard Jr. Roxon. Congratulations, sir. The Dean of the Business School will stay for the recipient of the award for MSc Supply Chain Management and pleasantly it's a lady, Grace Kai Ajetesua. Ajetesua. Grace Kai Ajetesua. MSc Supply Chain Management. Well done. Congratulations. The Dean of the Business School will stay again for the recipient of the MBA Finance Prize. It goes to Bright Opoku. Bright Opoku. Please clap for Bright Opoku. Bright Opoku. Okay, so I was going to let you go and come, but you can just stay. There's one more prize that the dean must dispatch with, and it's for MSC Oil and Gas Management, and goes to Prince Kwejo Amano. Prince, Prince Amano, well done. Prince Amano. Prince Kwejo Amano. Congratulations, sir. Okay, so the next dean, thank you. I have the pleasure of calling back Amenya Kelvin Weiss again, overall best student, Faculty of Engineering. Please come back. Well done. Overall best student, Faculty of Engineering, Amenya Kelvin Weiss. Congratulations, sir. Dean Abu Bakar, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Dr. William Leslie Brown would you be gracious enough to come back, sir? The first award is for Best Student Diploma in Information Technology, Farewell Samir. Farewell Samir. Farewell Samir. Okay, Dean's Award for Best Graduating Female Student, Antoinette Esinam Agume. Antoinette Esinam Agume. Please clap for Antoinette. Well done. Be Dean's Award for Best Graduating Female Student, Antoinette Esinam Agume. Well done. Well done. Well done. Congratulations, ma'am. Then we have a double award winner. Double award winner. Hayford Seram Kutu is best student BSE IT, overall best student faculty of computer and information systems. Hayford Kutu, two in one prize. Hayford. Seram Kutu. Hey, for Seram Kutu. Please clap for him. Hey, for Seram Kutu. Best student, BSEIT, overall best student, Faculty of Computing and Information Systems. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations, sir. Thank you, Dr. Brown. So, 
for the GCTU Business School, I have the utmost pleasure of inviting the Vice Chancellor of the University, Professor Imanohini Afuakwa, to kindly help us with the dispensation of some of the prizes. So, Vice Chancellor, you're welcome. The first award winner. And who wins two awards? So you don't go and come. The VC is a very busy man. Best student, BSc admin, accounting option, and overall best undergraduate student. Frimpong, Susanna. Susanna Frimpong. Susanna Frimpong. Overall best undergraduate student from the business school and best student BSc admin accounting option. Oh, where is she? Oh, congratulations, madam. Please keep clapping for her. Well done. Susanna Frimpong. Susanna Frimpong. Overall best undergraduate student, best student BSc admin accounting option. Well done. Susanna Frimpong. Well done. Well done, Susanna Frimpong. Well done. Well done. Overall best undergraduate student, best student BSc admin accounting option. Congratulations. Well done. Well done. The next prize is the best student Bachelor of Science in Economics, Ernest Eche Fiave. Ernest Eche Fiave. Ernest Fiave, best student, Bachelor of Science in Economics. Ernest Eche Fiave, congratulations, sir. Well done. Congratulations. You have to collect the prize well. Uh, once in a life, okay, you can win again. Congratulations. Best student, Bachelor of Science, Business Administration, Human Resource Management Option. Dankwa Isaac Akwang. Isaac Dankwa Akwang. Best student, Human Resources. Isaac Dankwa. Isaac Dankwa Akwang. Oh, keep clapping for him, man. Eh? Isaac. Dankwa Akrang, best student, Bachelor of Science, Business Admin, HR option. Well done. Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. Congratulations. Smile a little. They say you should smile a bit. Then the next prize is the Darling Prize. Best student, BSc admin, marketing option. It goes to Kwate Darlington Hillary. Hillary. Kwate Darlington. Where is she? The Darling Prize. Kwate Darlington Hillary. That's the Darling Prize. Darli Hillary Kwate Darlington. Congratulations, madam. Hilary Quarte Darlington, BSc Admin Marketing Option. Congratulations, man. Hilary Quarte Darlington. The next prize is the best student, BSc Procurement and Logistics. It goes to Fred Yakubu, Turabu, Walter, Kojo. Five names, one prize. Five names, one prize. Wow. That's why he has, he has five, five, five names. Five names, one prize. Yakubu Fred, Tuabu Walter Kojo. That's right. Yes, for one prize. Clap for him, man. Five in one. Okay. The next goes to... So, yeah, we
we, 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 we'll move on. We have the best student for all the diploma programs, Aisha Malkamusa. Aisha Malkamusa. Aisha Malkamusa. Best to Best to them diploma programs. Okay. Yes. No, leave him. Aisha Malkamusa. Aisha, well done. Aisha Malkamusa. Since you are here, madam. I think you should just collect the next one too. Best student diploma in public relations management. Also, Aisha Maka Musa. Congratulations. So we also have the best student Bachelor of Science, Banking and Finance option. Lillian Sally Awude. Lillian Sally Awude. Banking and Finance. Please clap for her. Banking and Finance option. So at this point, I'll invite the Dean of Graduate School to take over from the Vice Chancellor as we enter the home stretch in this prize announcement. Home stretch will be done very soon. Congratulations, Madam Lillian Sely Awude. Professor. As you do it. Okay. Pramakam, you're welcome. So please, we have the best student who graduated from the diploma in business administration class, accounting option, Prince Kojo Asante. Prince Kojo Asante. Best student diploma in business administration, accounting option, Prince Kojo Asante. Moving on. Best student diploma in business administration management option. Hana Esinam Akum. Hana Esinam Akum. Best student diploma in business admin management option. Okay, so finally, finally, finally. Best student diploma in business administration marketing option. Justicia Akasi Odaisom. Justicia Akasi Odaisom. Please clap for Justice. She's the last one, so clap hard. Justicia Akasi Odaisom. Congratulations, ma'am. Best student diploma in business administration, marketing option. Justicia Akasi Odaisom. Thank you very much, Mr. Dean. I appreciate your time. Mr. Registrar, back to you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pro Vice Chancellor, and congratulations to all the award winners. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is a tradition here at the Ghana Communication Technology University that at congregation ceremonies, the overall best graduating student delivers a valedictory message on behalf of the graduating class. Ms. Susanna Frimpong is the valedictorian at the July 2023 congregation. She graduates with a BSc degree in business administration accounting option with a cumulative weighted average 
of 75.65. She attended Jache Pramso Senior High School, Jache Pramso, near Kuntunase in the Ashanti region and completed in 2015. She has always desired to be a chartered accountant by profession and that mot motivated her to pursue a program in business administration accounting option. At the Ghana Communication Technology University, and successfully completed a program in 2022. She also wants to pursue postgraduate studies to realize her ambition of becoming a lecturer. Ms. Frimpon also desires to be an entrepreneur and hopes to undertake commercial agriculture and establish an onion plantation so she could provide employment opportunities in her community. She believes that providing employment opportunities is not the only single most effective means of tackling poverty and social exclusion but also ensure her contribution to society. She is of the firm belief that her background in business administration and accounting would help her manage her business effectively. Please join me to welcome Ms. Susanna Frimpong to the podium to deliver her address. Thank you. The council chairman, the vice chancellor, the pro vice chancellor, the Registrar, Distinguished Guest of Honor, Esteemed GCTU Partners, Cherished Faculty Members, Administrative Staff, Fellow Graduates, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good morning. Today, my heart is filled with immense joy as I stand before you on this happy occasion. I am both humbled and honored to have been chosen to deliver the validity address on behalf of my fellow graduating students, both present and absent. I extend my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you for this remarkable achievement. A few years ago, our faces radiated excitement as we embarked on this journey at the prestigious Ghana Communication Technology University. We were drawn to this institution because of its qualified faculty, competent administrative staff, and modern facilities that provided us with a conducive environment for our academic growth. Our enthusiasm sparked a sense of friendship among students, lecturers, and administrative staff, which was essential for us as fresh students. However, as time went on, the challenges of campus life began to confront us. Many of you can attest to the restless days, sleepless nights, financial constraints, and test anxieties we encountered. I want to give a special mention to Dr. Joseph Kwesi Ajiman, fondly known as Africa, whose passion for teaching made the accounting course compulsory and interesting for every student, regardless of their background. His unique approach and friendly demeanor pushed us all to study harder. And I must say, Dr. Joseph Ajeman significantly contributed to our success today. Moreover, we cannot overlook the adverse impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, which presented us with unprecedented obstacles. The abrupt shift to online classes, coupled with the challenges of internet connectivity and power outages placed us in a disadvantaged position. Despite these hurdles, our diligent lecturers continue to guide us, instilling in us determination, self-confidence, and a drive for academic excellence. As we stand here today, my fellow graduates and I can proudly say that we have overcome numerous hurdles to reach this significant outcome. Our experiences at GCTU have equipped us to be the preferred choice of human resources for any organization. However, let us not view this achievement merely as a certificate of our status, but as evidence of the knowledge and experiences gained over the years at GCTU. As we move forward, let us not bury our God-given talents, but utilize them to project the good image of our extreme university and contribute positively to our nation. With a positive mindset, hard work, diligence, and discipline, we can create opportunities for ourselves and become agents of positive change. 
we have the potential to make Ghana a better place. And let us never tire in our pursuit of success and growth. As Walt Disney once said, all our dreams can come true if we have the courage to pursue them. On this special day, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to all parents, guardians, friends, families, lecturers, and every individual who contributed to our success. Your support and encouragement have been invaluable, and we acknowledge every effort made on our behalf. To my own father, Mr. Michael Frimpon, who sacrificed immensely to see all his children through tertiary education. You are my inspiration and my hero. I also want to extend appreciation to my brothers, Pastor Ernest Frimpon Jr., Joseph Frimpon, Michael Frimpon, and David Frimpon. Your unwavering support and encouragement has been the source of strength for me. Special thanks go to Mr. Joseph Juma, a lecturer at the Kumasi campus for his daily encouragement and support. Not forgetting the following lecturers from the IT business faculty for their immense support and guidance. Mr. Frederick Insia, Mr. Eric Atapie J, Mr. Joseph Afari Boabin, and Mr. Evans J. I thank you all. My special thanks also go to Mrs. Bernice Aj, a former lecturer and at Kumase campus now here in Accra. Furthermore, I commend the university authorities for providing us with the opportunity to pursue our various courses and for guiding us with wisdom, giving us advice, and correcting us throughout our academic journey. In conclusion, let us remember the words of Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And I quote, if a man is called to be a street sweeper, he must strip sweets, even as Shakespeare wrote poetry, or Beethoven composed music, or Michelangelo painted. He must sweep the street so well that all the hosts of heaven and earth shall pause to say, here lived a great street sweeper who did his job so well. We were not called to be sweep streetwears, but our dedication and hard work have shown that we have excelled in our chosen fields. To God be the glory. Long live Ghana, long live GCTU. May God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ms. Susanna Frimpong. And I hope all our graduating students will be inspired by your address to go out and make a difference wherever they may find themselves. It is now time to administer the alumni oath. I shall kindly call on Mr. Maka Muama, the representative of the alumni on the University Council, to administer the alumni oath. Protocol observed, yeah. It's not how you start the race. Neither is it um, where you are during the race. What it's about and what matters most is how you cross the finish line. And this goes to us as we've met here this morning. We started fast. Are we finishing strong or weak? Good morning and congratulations to fresh graduates of this university. Welcome to your new phase of life onto this um, alumni association, which we're going to get you inducted into this morning. Today, we are inducting you into the alumni association of Ghana Communication Technology University. This is an august association that brings together the best of brains that have transversed the campuses of uh, GCTU. Today, we take an oath as a symbol of our commitment to this association. Let's keep standing. Let's keep standing. 
Let's stand now and keep standing. Yeah, I have it. Yeah. Whilst we administer this uh, oath, and I'll refer you to page 70 of the program as you have it. Let's open to page 70 and begin to administer this oath. You say after me, I, you mention your name, having become an alumni of Ghana Communication Technology University, do solemnly pledge my allegiance to the GCTU Alumni Association and the university as a whole. I shall faithfully and diligently support, defend, strive hard, and live up to the standards of excellence of my alma mater. I shall make every effort to be a socially responsible citizen and perform with distinction in all my endeavors. And by so doing, bring honor and recognition to my alma mater. I shall obligate myself to cooperate actively and commit resources to support its activities. I promise to offer my mental, physical, and financial capabilities to GCTU and all its cause and encourage others to join this noble university. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Sit down now. You can sit down now. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Maka Amwama, and congratulations to all of you. It is time for the award of degrees and diplomas, and I have a few instructions for graduates. You are seated in the order in which you'll be called. You stand to be presented by the dean. Protocol demands that gentlemen take off their caps when they come to the front. Ladies will keep their caps on. We shall start with the School of Graduate Studies and Research. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call upon the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies and Research to present the candidates who have satisfied the requirements and have been found worthy of learning to be awarded PhD degrees of CAS European Institute of Management Studies, France, pursued by the graduates in the School of Graduate Studies and Research of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Thank you. Will the CAS European Institute of Management Studies, France, doctoral graduating candidate please stand and remain standing? The President of CAS Europe Institute of Management Studies, France, I, Professor Ebenezer Malcolm, Dean of School of Graduate Studies and Research, have the honor and privilege to present to you the graduate of School of Graduate Studies and Research, who have fulfilled the requirements for the Doctor of Philosophy degree to be admitted to the said degree of CAS Europe Institute of Management Studies. Those present and those 
unavoidably absent, whose name appear on the list for whom I stand prosy. I, Professor Emmanuel Ohene Afuakwa, the Vice Chancellor of GCTU, representing the President of CAS European Institute of Management Studies, France, by the powers conferred on me by the President, formally admit you to the respective Doctor of Philosophy degrees of CAS European Institute of Management and Management Studies, France. CAS European Institute of Management Studies graduates, Aiko. So you can now bow and sit down. Class PhD graduating class, July Adade graduates with a PhD in ICT management. Next is Next is Saeed Al Hassan Saeed. Research topic.
Next is Kweku Abeku in Tiamensa. Research topic. Next is Franklin Obin Doy Research. Ibn Zamalkam. Next is Muslim Al Hassan Said, research topic. Dr. David King Boyson. And finally, we have Abba Hughes Lati. In business administration, and the supervisor is Professor Joseph Minsa. Thank you. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call upon the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies and Research to present the candidates who have satisfied the requirements and have been found worthy in learning to be awarded Master's Degrees of Coventry University UK and Anhalt University of Applied Sciences Germany, pursued by graduates in the School of Graduate Studies and Research of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Thank you.
Will the graduating master's candidate for School of Graduate Studies and Research please stand and remain standing? Then, Ghana Communication Technology University, MSc Engineering, Telecom Engineering students, please also keep standing. The representative of the Partners University, I, Professor Ebenezer Malcolm, have the honor and privilege to present to you the graduate of the School of Graduate Studies and Research who have fulfilled the requirement for the postgraduate degree to be admitted to the said degrees for the Coventry University UK, Anhalt University of Applied Sciences Germany, those present and those unavoidably absent, whose names appeared on the list and for whom I stand prosy. I, Professor Cyrus Rakabamba, representing the Vice Chancellor of Coventry University, United Kingdom, by the powers conferred on me by the Vice Chancellor, I formally admit you to the respective degrees of Coventry University, United Kingdom. Coventry University graduates, I echo. Thank you. I, Professor Emmanuel Ohenia Fuakwa, the Vice Chancellor of GCTU, representing the Program Director of the MBA International Trade and Management Leadership Program by the authority conferred on me by the Vice Chancellor of the Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany, I formally admit you to the MBA International Trade Program of the Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany. Anhalt University of Applied Sciences, Germany graduates, Aiko. So all of you shall now bow and you take your seats. All protocols observed. Kindly come forward when you hear your name. Coventry University, NBA Finance, with distinction, Opoku Bright, Texan Sebastian Asiama, Texan Sebastian Asiama, with Mary. A champion, Ajoa Abuajoa Brodu. Addison, Matilda Isinora. Aili Adi Kweku. Akufu, Simpe Bernard. Avoka Atotura Albert. Zamboy Ben Simon Kweku Frimpong Bredu Charles Ameao Isa Osmanu Nikwe Eric Crimpton Nian Mohammed Omar 
Inti Nana Yao Amanfo Opoku Juliet Enima Osu Achao Mame Abena Ousua Sego Nana Breduma Senaya Frederick Boniface Tete Emmanuel MSc Engineering Project Management with distinction Alou Divine Kojo Afelete Doku Deborah Selassie with merit and Chibuesiako Gabriel Kokole Aminata Mohammed, Luote Miriam Dedo, Mustafa Hawa, Nyako Gideon, Ohimi Mensa Kwame, Safo Randi, MSc Engineering and Management with distinction Alna Thomas Asante Nathaniel Frimpon Dovia Bernard with married Asiedu Obed Otu Bruce Lafia Judney Booker Bosmani Aule, Mensa Millicent, Oseyao Betty Abrafi, MSC Supply Chain Management, with distinction, Ahenkra. Sandra Ousu Asari William Hewlett Rita Ajo Sefenu with married Amesimeko Salom Alfred Mensa Felis Loho Poplampu Balete Bernard Soa Grey Sky Ajete MSC Management Information Systems With Married Amwa Bernard Osei Frederick Ohnedako Late Nathan Ngayande Yanek Opoku Apao Nanayao Gabienu Delali MBA Petroleum Economic and Finance with distinction Aglina Moses Kwame Ogoy Rebecca with married Boatima Emanuela Sapoma MSC Business Decision Management with distinction Roxen Richard Jr. MSC Oil and Gas Management with distinction Amano Prince Kwejo MSC Information Technology Management 
We have the distinction Clinton Bernard. We have married Adusa Dennis. Mahama Abdul Malik Asediwe. With past Aya Prince Darko. MBA Logistics. With distinction, Gate Kojo Mekatre. With married Sapon Chantel Pinaman. Thompson Phyllis Harriet Na Kokoi. MBA International Trade, Anhalt University of Applied Sciences. Christopher Siao Dakon. Phyllis Dakpe Ametumi. Thank you. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call upon the Dean of the School of Graduate Studies and Research to present the candidates who have satisfied the requirements and have been found worthy in learning to be awarded postgraduate degrees of Ghana Communication Technology University pursued by graduates in the School of Graduate Studies and Research of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Thank you. Would the graduating master's candidate of School of Graduate Studies and Research please stand and remain standing. That is the GCTU MSc Telecom Engineering graduates. The representatives of partner universities, I, Professor Ebenezer Malcolm, have the honor and privilege to present to you graduates of School of Graduate Studies and Research who have fulfilled the requirement for the postgraduate degree to be admitted to the said degree of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Those present and those unavoidably absent, whose name appear on the list and whom I stand prosy. I, Professor Kofi Awusabwa Sari, Chairman of the Ghana Communication Technology University Council, by the authority vested in the Academic Board of the Ghana Communication Technology University, hereby pronounce the students presented duly graduated. School of Graduate Studies and Research and their students, Ayuko. Kindly come forward majestically when you hear your name. MSc Telecommunications Engineering, Asante John Kwabena. Joa Junior Solomon Mombladiu. Kakui Ingusan Jean Louis. Mm. 
Los Canos, Siwa, Siwinan, Julian, Pasque, Wano. Nuchupo Dan Jerry. Okeke Emmanuel Tochuku. Yahaya Rafiatu. Thank you. Prof Chair, we inadvertently left out one academic award. We shall give the, with your permission, we shall give the award and then continue with the conferment of degrees. May I respectfully call on the Dean of GCTU Business School to present the award. Best student, BSc Administration, Management Option, Sonia Esther Kuleku Tete. Thank you very much. Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call upon the deans of the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems, School of Engineering, and GCTU Business School to present the candidates who have satisfied the requirements for the bachelor's degree and diplomas of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and have been found worthy in learning to be awarded the bachelor's degrees and diplomas pursued by the graduates in the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems, Faculty of Engineering, and GCTU Business School of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Thank you. Will the graduating candidates of the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems please stand and remain standing? Forces. Yes. The Vice Chancellor of KNUST, represented by the Provost of the College of Arts and Built Environment, KNUST, Professor John Tiabugri. I, Dr. William Leslie Brown Akwey, have the honor and privilege to present to you the graduates of the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems who have fulfilled the requirements for the bachelor's degree and diplomas to be admitted to the said degrees and diplomas of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi. Those present and those unavoidably absent, whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy. Will the graduating candidates of Faculty of Engineering 
Please stand and remain standing. The Vice Chancellor of KNUST, represented by the Provost of the College of Arts and Bold Environment, KNUST, Professor John Thiabubri. I, Dr. Ruhia Abubakar, have the honor and privilege to present to you the graduates of the Faculty of Engineering who have fulfilled the requirements for the bachelors and diplomas to be admitted to the said degrees and diplomas of the Kwame Nkrumah University. Would the graduating candidates of the business school please stand and remain standing? The Vice Chancellor of Kenya USD, represented by the Provost of the College of Art and Bit Environment, Kenya USD, Professor John Tia Bugri. I, Professor George Opon Apieje Ampon, Dean of the Business School, have the honor to present to you the graduates of the Business School who have fulfilled the requirements for the bachelor's degrees to be admitted to the said degrees of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi those present and those unavailable present whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy. I, Professor John Thier Bugri, Provost of the College of Art and Built Environment Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, representing the Vice Chancellor, Professor Rita Kosua Dixon of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi, by the authority conferred on me by the Vice Chancellor, I formally admit you to the respective degrees and diplomas of the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, Kumasi graduates from the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems, Faculty of Engineering, and GCTU Business School, Aiko. Please be seated. So I'll be calling out some undergraduate students from the Faculty of Engineering. Yeah. First class honors for telecommunications engineering. So, Nafisa Sumaila. Emmanuel Nkrumah Apia. Second class honors, upper division. Christopher Okale. Yeah, 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 Mariko. Yeah. Joseph Kofi Akpaha. Sandra Adenovo. Apao Prince Poma. Adeboyo Emmanuel. Kingpe Arnold Selvian. Otin Derek Frimpong. Amuama Paul Enin. Yeah, yeah. Jehovah Safat Metowoda, Collins Adam Ajari, Enoch Abwaji Esiama, Samuel Kojo Ampofo, Gertrude Fafali, Ahmed, Ahmed Dodi, Akoto Gochem. 
Nana Ochirwa Beidu, Amua Henry Charles, Adam Morrison, Agwenowosi, Carl Tete Lomote, Ariel David Oisin Orich, Kobold, Ajete Alex Ni, Alija Osei, Osai Ade, Joshua Aseye Nyakwam, Second Class Harness, Lower Division, Asumeni Kwabena Berima, McCarthy Joshua Tete, Dan Ali, Owusu Prince Robert, Colonials Owusu Dankwa, Abdul Razak Tahiru, Anaman Emmanuel, Zurag Mahama, Mohammed, sorry, Bosompim Enoch Kofi, Newell Kesta Ato, Frimpong Joshua Intiamwa. Computer Engineering, First Class Anes, Amenya Kelvin Wise, Ampoma Kufi, Asante Samuel Yebua, Kwe Prince, Teko Agbo Daniel. Second class honors, upper division. Kumasan King, Nigel Elom, Yao. Edem Date Emanuela Eliklim. Pius Kwabna Ajekum. Otain George, Musa Nusrat, Fonleyo. E Japon, Messi Ohene. Jakun, Jado Isaac. Kweku, Omari Main San David, Amanote Francis Akwete, Isa Hanif, Ame, Ametefe Edmond Edem, Enum Manuel, Obu Bright Kwabna, Otuo Nicholas Mensa, Hopper Stephanie, Elion Finoisi. Silulu Anoma Johas Otabel Awinaba Abdul Munim Hussein Kuta Daniel Kuta Paul Dela Hamond Carl Nigel Ajimine Augusta Echiana Achena Danso Michael Kodia Upon Joseph Amwatin, Mabi Gilbert Grogri, AJ Kalina, Asante Michael Selom, Kemik Hajia Zalia, Yenuvu Pascal Kofi, Dankwa Patrick, Otu Messi Awintrim Anane, Akum Benjamin. Danigu Ez Ezotom Jose Bimpong Emmanuel Kwabna Dodu Equia Abede Edum Kinsley Labi Richard Edu Davidson Richmond Mensa Jason Ni Oman Yaku Steven Bwachi Bwateng Esther, Second Class Anes Lower Division, Che Richard Bafo, Apia Adam Musafa, Dovia Delali Kojo, Kwapong Samuel Donko, Apia Joshua Kofi, Ofori Erasmus Atta.
BSc Information Technology, first class honor. Kutu Effort Serum, Ajepon Oliver, Ajo Courage, Jane Fikwame Bosompim, Anna Yu Jimbedu, Autry Venotutu, Seto Gro Joshua, first class honor. Mali, Apia Christian, Agume Antoinette Esinam, Apon Vincent Labi, Combs in Victor, Ado Edith, Kwanu Samuel Adam Eko, Yakubu Sali, Daku George Kweku, Kokoko Frederick Kwisi, Tetevia Sigmund, Belfi Kaiser Efriye, and Bonsan Bedia Kupako, Aka Jedu Jenima, Ousu Michael, Walton Kinsley Adom, Diet Eden Batalo, Bacha Enoch Tay, Nete Jeffrey Nete, Amoba Monica Abruyeni, Fianyo Ilaros. Atta Joseph Samuel Kofi Doba, Bamford Jacob, Atta Augustine, Ado Yimanre, Paga Samuel Mahama Agawin, Bwache Justice Kwame Otri, Kweku Otri, Owusu Godwin, Chef of Way Salom, Dikamba Ivo Marcel, Asante Prince Brefa, JC Anthony, Frimpon Derek, a champion Spencer Ebo, a Sampambila Joseph Kojo, Danso Imanu Apen, Tomete Abraham Delalom, Amanote Daniel Nati, Sapon Kwame Kusi, Crunchy Richard, Daku Benjamin, Angloga Eric, Wimozu Imanu, Akute Ebenezer Okojinio, Morgan Enoch, Daddy Bo Gelber Majite, Abdullah Ishak, Atta Teya Aqua da Costa, Nyaku Ebenezer, Pano Jonas Alec Blem, Anyafo Stephen, Anan David, Enchi Michael, Bonyeta Clementina Afi, Asameni Michael, Banre Dumak, Asante Samuel, Awazi Rebecca, Asamwa Atta Isaac, Triku Philip Kwesi, Nyaku Derek Kojo, Ihang Osbert Edu, Oyiti Mensa Imanwe, Asari Jebi, George, Nuchuko Dela, eh, Felix Delali, Obo Obi Maswell, Boati Manuela, Ayite Lord, Lai Beryl Namomo, Gadagbo Engelbert, Mate Ennis Atefwa, Asiedu Edmond Osei, Ashley Christian, Nadute Prince Eko, Sechi Bridget, Kumato Moses Forgive, Oponda for Prince, Minta Kofi Yebua, Nyakun Philip, Mahama Jeffrey John Ashmin, Obin Lawrence Achampon, Kankam Reign of Osei Wusu, Ashide Jonathan Kobla, Kwache the Angelo Kwame, Shua Aaron Kwesi, Jaffa Ruano, Nyame Samuel, Ose Kwame, Ose Kwabna Godwin, Karim Adna, Awuni Adams, Ahim Kra Bernard, Hodruk Doni Augustine, Sharu Ihaida, 
a name sap on Jesse. Anna ni said upon Elias tells me, Aruna Yakubu, Ata Iman Rewo, Kwaku Jonathan Stephen, Tete Andrew Afote, Kwashi Kwa Jesse Sello, Ikansa Paul Ernest, Kwa Jiri Dima Perfect Kobi, Ajano Samuel, Aproti Enoch Tete, and Sir Kelvin na, Nana Osei, Sephas Evans Owusu, Tete Caleb Selassie, Tete Samuel Bacha, Bonso Richmond, Botre Pius, Asante O'Neill Ejay, Second Class Honours, Upper Division, Second Class Honours, Lower Division. Osaimen Saint Emmanuel, Yebua Robert Daku, John Richard Kote, Michael Jeffrey Ampafo. Okay. Okay. Owusu Owari Kwabna, Ampon Sanloria Mauto, Jeffrey Gilbert Asumadu. No bad James Senior Kofi. Okay, Kelvin Sneed Tete Okay. Dovis and Fred Kofi. Agbalakpa Courage Koku. Kujo Samuel. Dora Dexter Date. Sulema Surazu. Amwa Alfred Benjamin. Kwashi Gabriel and Kobna. Amachi Isaac. Yebua Samuel. Asiadu Richard Kofi. Opoku Godfred Kisi, Agbaleza Nana Nana Fafa, Ativo Etonam Liza, Amelon Abraham, Kwenote Iman Rekwete, Paul Joseph, Kinslin Archie Caleb, Owusu Eduse Russell, Bentum George Achif, Owusu Price Sidney, Papo Farouk Ni Adote, Okay, Leslie Ni Taiko, Dogbe Obed Salom, Johnson Evans, Sowa Jeffat Ni Odrete, Nete Anwin Jawo Shafat, Kuma Zok Yofi, Yok Papako, Tete Mamon, Jeffrey, Ofori Bafa Kweku Owusu, Ajari Kofi Ofori, in soon Leonard Laboja Lomote David Lomote Date Benjamin Kwame Dan Kwana Nakweku Ahaga Richard Chris Michael Ni Adote Ofori Yuji In Shwa David Kwam Ekweku Dagbe Johans Serum Kimison John Kek Yao Daku I'm a Vosavio. Ankuma Jima Angela. Ameni Ankuma Andrew. Kwacha Imanre Odai. Alija Justice. Alec and Steven. Ofei Frank Kofi. Tata Desmond. Davo Austin Wins. Oku Okaba Godwin Okunke. Crime Team A for Selassie. Agbebe Kelvin Kofi. No Nakpaku Prince. Second class honors. Lower division. Pass. Akwe Leslie. Kumi Andy Edu. Diploma in Information Technology. Pass. Mankata Kelvin Sinama. Mensa Joel Ni Okai. Thank you.
coração. Hello. Hello. Business school, your attention, please. BSC Marketing, KNUST brand. First class honors, Corte Darlington, Hillary. Second class honors, Upper, Anderson, Emily. Second class honors, Lower Division, Zosu Mirabel. Mahunon Ashley, Jehu Mark, BSC, BSC Human Resource Management, KNUST brand. First class honors, Tamaklu Margaret, Akute Yvonne, Ajay Portia, Lawek, Christine Love, Samson, Davida, Mami Ifwa, Second class honors, upper division. Upper redeemer, Amakosali, Osebia, Edufa, Eunice, Queen, Jennifer, Jisenu, Patience, Jumfo, Apo, Joshua, Ampedu, Daniela, Echampo, Abigail, Asantua, Beche, Mitchell, Pamiche, Sifako, Equia, Nante, Joseph, Sunday, Victory, Wuchechuku, Second class honors lower division. Gidimesa Robert, Opune Sapoma Mary, Navro Isaac, Nontra, Muriku Shadrach Asiedu, Ajiman Emilia, Kurantin Eric, and Sir Joseph. BSC Management. First class honors. Osei Charity, Agbanyaga Bridget, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Asia, Ferdows, Kobna Mary, Bedia Kun Gifti, Osei Edmund Martin, Osei Kinsley Kwame, Osei Deborah Apia, Teacher, Chise Enima McCain, Mrs. Setre Emmanuel Boatin, Tete Elizabeth, Otu Frimpoma Evelyn, Sanders Apia Sefa, Mensa Atha Ifwa Techua, Ezendio Query, Chinaza, Lomba Mbogo, Kant Lebongo, Prefna Altria, Lovely Pao Mary, Abaleni Josephine, 
quasi confidence nai Boatin Esther second class honors lower division where do gift to Ajewa Ajay Yunis Tremantin Kate Kwabua Kwabua Isiam Veronica Ifwa Church Linda BSC Banking and Finance, Kern UST Brand. First Class Honors, Awude Lillian Sally. Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Mensa Emmanuel Nana, Akuma Margaret Treba. Mensa Johnson Owusu, Kwakuche Fidelius, Bansa Janessa Akusia. Second Class Honors, Lower Division. Siga Sagui, Onella Lancia. BSC Accounting, KNUST brand. First class honors. Frimpon Susan. Thurston Kofi, Christopher. Osafu Joyce, Yajira, Egan Francis. De Gaulle, Yoni Mauli. Second class honors. Upper division. Ajay Samuel Mensa, Koku Francis Samuel, Mohammed Idrisu, Dan Ladd, Avori Moses, Saki Abraham, Tay, Bebache Rosemary, Tumesi Teresa Adubia, Arthur Moses, Second Class Honors, Lower Division, Peku Cynthia MFA, Blevi, Diana Ofe, Oko Paul, BSc Accounting with Computing. First class honors. Boache Nanama Fodro Felix Nanakuisi. BSc Procurement and Logistics, KNUST brand. First class honors. Yakubu Fred. Akapo Ephraim, Akufu Ado Bernard, Tete Shila Okoyo, Ayite Emmanuel, Frimpon Seth Jackson, Nati Princess Naki, Freku Gifti, Mompi Philip Eliklim, Al Hassan Idrisu Mohammed, Second Class Honors, Upper Division, Ajayawo Margaret, Wemri Augustine Tibel, Owusu Ansa Harry, Lai Magdalene, Eduche Kofi, Sakwa Daniel, Dubati John Tai, Togo William Ahinakwa, Dodu Bernard Ni, Ishan Wisdom, Winnie Memuna, Buenya Joseph, Ansa Benedicta, Honjebo Roland, Esume Angela Mponsa, Flobo Les, Mikafui, Have, Have, Mawinyo Kwesi, Techi Felicia Atre, Dazi Anita Kuka, Echampong, Francisca, Ajakum Michael, Al Hassan, Naiza, Babia, Owusu John, Ando Roda, sorry, Ado, Ado Roda, Ayi Martin Yao, Avobedo, Benedicta, Martin Joseph, Jomeku McLevin, McKelvin, sorry, Odum, Kek Park, we see Marfus Stephen in Tiamwa, Ousu Janet, Ousu Festus Konda, Opal Mabel, Tamu Aichat, Wabin Samuel, Odamton Dina Naakai, Mbalola Aaron Lule. BSC Economics, KNUST brand. Second class, Ernest Upper Division. Fiave Ernest Eche, Henson Elvis, Ado Aaron, Truman.
All right, thank you very much. Please, grad ones, 
Red ones, please be seated. The ceremony is not over yet. Kindly sit down. Please take your seats. Thank you. The car number GE465419. Please, you are blocking the way. Kindly move the car. Car number GE465419. Please attend to your car and relocate it. Thank you. The Chairman of Council, with your permission, I call upon the Acting Dean of the Faculty of Computing and Information Studies Systems to present the candidates who have satisfied the bachelor's degree requirements of the Coventry University UK and have been found worthy in learning to be awarded the bachelor's degree pursued by graduates in the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems. Graduates, please sit down and keep quiet. Will the graduating candidates of the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems under the Coventry Undergraduate Program please stand and remain standing. The Pro-Chancellor of Coventry University, United Kingdom, represented by the Vice-Chancellor of Ghana Communication Technology University, I, Dr. William Leslie Brown Akwe, have the honor and privilege to present to you the graduates of the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems who have fulfilled the requirements for bachelor's degrees to be awarded to the said degrees of the Coventry University, United Kingdom those present and those unavoidably absent, whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy. I, Professor Cyrus Wakabamba, Regional Managing Director, Coventry University, African Hub, uh, representing the Vice Chancellor of Coventry University, United Kingdom, by the powers conferred to me by the Vice Chancellor, I formally admit you to the, the, the respective undergraduate degrees of Coventry University, United Kingdom. Coventry University graduates, Ayeko. Coventry undergrad program. Please sit, Coventry. Computer science. First cl class honors. AJ Daniel. Ajakwa David Autry. Oyepeju Newstrat. Mason. Benedict Aselasi, Adai George K. Quist Akenberg, first class. Second class, Hana, upper division. Assigned to Iman Raffin Pom. Tay Abraham. Gan Sako Josechi, Yebua Kenneth Ingram Kusi, Apia Yofi Adom, Azuri Benjamin, Hamor Nana Tehai, Kwaku Kashmir James Selassie, Ajima Amankwas eh, Salome, Eje Laria, Owusu Samuel, Ayi Benedict Ni. Ama Yehowada. Nyan Techi Kweku. Mujbao. Alaji Ahmed. Edu. Asamoa Julio. Asi Edu. Alex Sekwanam. EJ Obed Amankwa. Andy Ernest. Gaba. Yawa. Lois. Tai John in town. Kamo 
woman. O broku rich man. Agba kwa kofi, sena no genius. Great Ennis, quote a car ni quate lai. Afum Jerome, Suleiman Abdul Rashid. Second class, on his lower division. Brian Koma, Amwaku Jeffrey. Airford, Efua. Software engineering, first class. We done, James. Ask my Emmanuel. Second class, upper division. Zida and Shaibu. Second class, lower. And he... Thank you very much, Dean of Forces, Chairman of Council. With your permission, I call upon the deans of the Faculty of Conversity, of Conversity, and have been found worthy in learning to be awarded the bachelor's degree and diplomas pursued by the graduates in the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems and the GCTU Business School of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Thank you. With the graduating diploma and degree graduates for GCTU Business School, please stand and remain standing. GCTU, diploma and degree graduates. The Chairman of Council, I, Professor George Opon APJ Ampon, Dean of the Business School, have the honor and privilege to present to you the graduates of the Business School who have fulfilled the requirements for the bachelor's and diplomas to be admitted to the said degrees and diplomas of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Those present and those unavoidably absent, whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy. Um, will the graduating candidates of the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems please stand and remain standing. BIT top up. The Chairman of Council, I, Dr. William Leslie Brown Aquay, have the honor and privilege to present to you the graduates, graduates of the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems who have fulfilled the requirements for the bachelor's degree and diplomas to be admitted to the said degrees and diplomas of the Ghana Communication Technology University. Those present and those unavoidably absent, whose names appear on the list and for whom I stand proxy. Students of GCTU, I, Professor Kofia Usabwasari, Chairman of the Council of Ghana Communication Technology University, by the authority vested in the academic board of the university, I present and pronounce the students present here duly graduated. 
graduates from the Faculty of Computing and Information Systems and GCTU Business Schools, Aiko. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, men, the program is still ongoing. We advise, we plead that you get seated so that we can finish this program in good time. Thank you. BSC Marketing, UCTU brand, second class Honors, Upper Division. Asante Filinda, Asari, Mau Femo, Mamiya, Echampon, Gillian, Ajwa, Hamon, Dokas, Bwachi, Adam, Gifti, Ama, Saki, Perfect, Tete, Sethlin, Dede, Yabua, Agnes, Abdullah, Sharifa, Second Class, Honors, Lower Division. Safu Grace, Ohenewa, Abdehali, Sandra, Diploma in Marketing. Credit. Odai Sum Justicia Akesi. Diploma in Public Relations Management. Credit. Musa Malka Aisha. BSC Human Resource Management. UCTU. First class honors, Dankwa Isaac Akran. Second class honors, Upper Division, Benson Anita Pra. Akoto Yvette Sewa, Hammond Jane Amanda, Treme Isaac, Dogbe Fu, Michaela Makafui. Second class honors, Lower Division, Payson Philippa, Hemans Josephine, Anyate Horatius Ni Aku. Third class honors, Quay Patience. BSC Management, GCTU brand. First class honors, Tete Sonia Esther Koleki. Second class honors, Upper Division. Kanto Vanessa Efia, Tete Comfort. Isiama Bridget Akosia, Otu Natasha Otuko. Monte Jennifer Jifa, Oso Clement, AUC Sandra Yebua, Yebua Presla, Efua, Amwafua, Millicent, Ofori Wilson, Ewa Enin Gifty, Diploma in Management, Credit, Juliet Entry. BSC Accounting, Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Ochi Jessica, Esubonte, Mercy, Kunedu, Atambiri, Kwabna, Bochi Sena, Kwajo, Agaria, Patrick, Akama, Huberton, Huberton, Ofori, Mavis, Second Class Honors, Lower Division. Musa, Abiba, Cleodor, Jephthah, Opoku, Ajiman, Felix, BSC Accounting with Comp... Sorry. ...and Logistics, UCTU brand. Second Class Honors, Upper Division. Yadom Andy Minta, Jemfi Daniel, Vigade Lali Rebecca, Zati Eric, Osei Asante, Mameda Akua, Dua Bismarck, Asari Isaac Clarkson, Tinkwe Michael Anno, Baden Mercy, Obey Francis, Loco Caroline, Tete Dorothy AJ, Yohuno Paul Nate, Adai Frida Amenyo, Atikase, Atikase Hilary, Eliabe, Abubakar, Saudatu, Mensa, Rahel, Ajoko, Koenu Gifti, Erosi, Osei Lydia, Techiwa, Second class honors, lower division. Agbada Rosemary, Trinity, Okante Ishmael.
honors, upper division. Gadoke, Elsie Natalie, Adoba Richard Mate, Edu Jonathan Kwame, Atamensa Eraba Efua, Hughes George Clement, Kuma Sakeli Etonam, John Stella, Agbeli Deborah, Deborah Esinam. Gabagro Blaze, Ojo Matilda Edem, Aqua EJ Jessica, Owusu Sidov Yafi, Osei Ado Bright, Owusu Gibson Efriye, Demo Ednam Ajo, Mutalib Fazia, Kabu Benedicta Akwako, Kuni Edwin, Doga Adam Dennis, Asabri Ernest Kojo, Ayn Emmanuel, Yonato John Kingsley, Lai Kelvin David Niyama, Second Class, Honest Lower Division, Labo Roger, Ikansa David, Puati Arnold Weda. Please be seated. Please be seated. Please be seated. Thank you. Arnold Awedam. And Michael. Atu Rebecca. And Nim Clement Asenso. Odra Yiman. Yiman. Opoku Yiman Re Asu. Ado Ernest. Mensa Doreen Danyako. Esuma Collins Kobe. Nelson Roda Memuna, Barman Sakwami Sakwadie, Fuseni Rudin, Sapon Imanre, Labi Augustine Akrofi, Kum Sigidium Amwa, Peterson Kelvin Ni Ayete, Mingo Benjin Papo, Ado Alpha German, Brown Joseph Peter, Yebua Charlotte Nana Akosua, Wati Emanuela Ejei, Bandi Yunis, Imbra Nana Emisa, Man Isaac Kofi, Wati Kelvin Nana Ajimai, Makole Alexander, Chief Ote Selom Kofi, Aite Shila Naa Kwakwe, Sosu Dakas, Kate Emanuel Eden, Yate Priscilla Yale, Amankwa Edmond, the Golo Kenneth, Daku Guama Isaac Wate, Diploma Information Technology, Diploma in Information Technology. Please be seated, please be seated. Diploma in Information Technology, Mote Wisdom for Draw, Upon God Bless for Draw. Owusu Bernard, Chumesi Prosper Boache, Lanyen Samel, Abuaje Eric Sam, Nojo Emmanuel Adam, Osman Rashid Abdul, Nolte Bliggs Abdul Jamal, Apiaje Albert Kojo, Into Nana Kwami Yebua, Che Kwanzi Aidna, Donko Courage, Pass. Saki Jenny Dis Ni Teko Angel Goka Seren Botre Ellis Akwete Opoti Leslie Amanfo Thank you very much. Please, red ones, be seated. We are not done yet. Please come back. Ashes, can you kindly go around and get them back? Please. Ashes, please disperse and get them back. Thank you.
please come back to your seats. Graduates, come back, please. The Vice Chancellor, representatives of partner universities, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to invite the Chairman of Council to dissolve this assembly. Thank you. Good afternoon. Could we kindly ask the graduates who are around to sit down for the closing. Members of council present, the vice chancellor, protocols observed from what has been established earlier on. We come to the end of this ceremony. But then I want to remind members that it is for you and not to abandon it at the last minute. So as we end, I would like to salute those who are still here and their parents and relations. And I also salute the vice chancellor, the pro vice chancellor and his staff for the work done and also recognize all the teachers who in one way or the other have put in their effort to bring them that far. You have worked together to ensure that the time you spent in this university has been fruitful. And the university appreciates the efforts of those who have put all effort and their resources into your education, especially your parents and guardians. A number of you are not here now, but for those of you who are present, I want you to leave this ceremony thinking about a group of people who will think about the possibilities, the possibilities in the wilder world as you enter. You know, this year is 2023. At the beginning of the 1900s, Everybody thought that human beings could not fly. But there were two brothers who felt that people could fly. And these are the right brothers. So 120 years this year, they were able to manufacture the first plane which now carry people. These are the people of possibilities. Everybody said it was impossible. But they said it was possible. 120 years later, we don't even think about it. And I want you to be people of possibilities. And as you go out, I will leave you with only one statement. The pessimist sees all the difficulties in every opportunity. But the optimist sees all the opportunities in every difficulty. We are also grateful for the speech given by the guest speaker and I guess you will remember, if not everything, two words. Moral integrity. Moral integrity. We are most grateful to him. And as all of you go back, we wish you a safe travel home or wherever you came from. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is now my duty to declare this today's congregation officially dissolved. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chairman of Council. I shall now call on the Director of University Relations to continue with the rest of the program and tell us the order of recession. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yes, so to some uh, few announcements. Yes, uh, students, please, we are supposed to move to the iron of the fountain. Management will be meeting you there for some official pictures taken there. Then also, uh, 
Convocation, kindly move to engineering block for your refreshments after here. So it's now time for the recession of management, special guests, and convocation. Please, shall we be upstanding, please? Okay. So before then, shall we invite the chaplain to give us a closing prayer, please? A closing prayer. Please, shall we all be upstanding? Thank you. Please, shall we bow down our heads as you pray? Ever gracious Father, we are grateful unto you for granting us a glorious congregation ceremony. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you adoration. We say, Father, there is none that can be compared unto thy holy name. We bless your holy name. We thank you for all our graduates. We pray that, dear Lord Jesus, grant them divine ideas. Grant them the spirit of wisdom, creativity, critical thinking, innovations to do well in every aspect of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that may they not become employment seekers. May they all become employers to employ people everywhere in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray that may the God of all grace be gracious unto every one of you here. We pray for Ghana Communication Technology University. We pray that when it comes to technology innovation, may GCTU become a reference point all over the world in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for all our partners, the partners of Ghana Communication Technology University. We pray that Lord God Almighty bless them to continue to be a blessing to GCTU in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We pray for our students. We pray for senior management. We pray for the university council. We pray for our parents who have helped us, who have helped all your children to sail through in their various programs. We pray that, Father, as you live here, we are not living in your presence. Grant every one of us here return traveling mercies to our various destinations in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, may the God of all grace bless you. May the Lord God Almighty cause his face to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. And may he bless you to continue to be a blessing now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. Amen. Yes. So, while still upstanding, University Choir, please lead us in our school anthem. The University Anthem, please.
much, the GCTU Royal Voices. Please remain standing as management and council recess. Please remain standing. Police band, kindly lead us in a recession tune. Convocation, please join in the recession. Yeah, convocation, please join, then the PAGs will go, then we all go. fountain side for the pictures with management please let's move to the where the fountain is for, for pictures with management 